there, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And a little while back, a user said, Hey, can you show me how to create an elephant? So I fiddled around a little bit and let me show you what I came up with. All right, so let's first things first start with a sphere. We're going to use this for the head and the body. I'm going to raise this up and just leave it at its default size. And then I'm going to do Control D to make a second one. I'm going to carry the second one out. And I'm going to make it a little bit longer and a little bit wider. Then I'm going to grab both of those by drawing a box that touches them both. And I'm going to center them this way. Now, if we look at this corner, you can see that they're lined up pretty good. This looks more like a bug than an elephant because the elephant belly needs to be a little bit higher. And I'm also going to make it a little bit lower. I didn't like that move, so let's do it again. I was trying to get that one, and I think I missed. So there's my elephant body. And then to make them a little more elephante, let's change it to a gray. And I'm going to even change that one more time to a darker gray. That's a little bit more elephant gray. I'm going to take my elephant's head and stretch it out just a little bit so it's not quite so round. And then let's build the trunk just because it's kind of fun. Switch down to all or featured shapes. And then in featured shapes, bring out the bent pipe. And then I love to hold down shift and then drag one corner so it shrinks everything at once to what I think is approximately my trunk size. Then if you scroll in, you can find the rotation. And if you rotate close to the shape, it goes in a 90 degree fashion. I'm gonna leave mine just like that. You notice that's the opposite way the trunk goes. And then we're gonna use the cool flip tool to flip it so now it looks like the elephant's trunk. I did not mean to hit that. I meant to click, switch, and then move it over to where I need it to be. I'm going to use the cone to lift it up. You can also hold control and tap the up arrow to get it where you want. I'm going to grab all three of them again, and I'm going to line them up centered. And then I'm going to look at this, and it seems a little large for my elephant's head. So I'm going to hold down shift, shrink it a little more till I'm happy. I think I like that. Once again, I'm going to align them. And then let's do Control D to duplicate and take that second one. And let's flip it up and down. So you can see now it's aimed the other way. And let's also flip it this way so that it's sticking out kind of like a trunk. Back to that control trick, I'm going to do Control down arrow. And then I'm just going to use the left arrow to move it out in front. So I've got the makings of an elephant trunk. I'm going to go Control down arrow a couple more times. And then I'm going to take those two pieces and I'm going to group them. And then I want the trunk to be raised a little bit. So notice instead of staying close to the shape so it snaps at the 22 and a half degree, I'm going to get to the exact degree I want by moving out further. Control up to raise it up a little bit. Control down to get it where I want. And boom, my elephant has got its trunk. Let's make it gray like the rest of my elephant. Let's give our elephant some eyes by moving back to the basic shapes and just bringing out a sphere. Hold down shift and squish it like crazy so it's eyeball size. I'm going to make it the color white. I'm going to do control D and use the arrow key to move the new one out. Let's zoom right to that exact size with the fit view to selection. I'm going to hold shift and shrink this down a couple bits to make it an eyeball. I'm not worried about the measurements. I just wanted to get them aligned. And now I'm going to use the arrow keys to get that where I want. And then remember when I want to move it up, I'm going to do control and the up arrow to raise it up so that my eyeball has the center pupil and the rest of it. When we hit group, it turns one color. But remember, we can hit the color tool and turn on multicolor to bring it back. I'm going to use control up to raise that up in the air. With my eyeball up in the air, let's move left to get it into place. Notice it's uh, not far enough out, so I'm going to just do the right. Elephant eyes are kind of out on the side, so that's actually pretty slick. Get it so that you're happy, happy, and then do control D to make a second one and just use your arrows to move it across. And then I want it to be aimed the other way. So I'm going to do that cool flip so that it just pop is looking the other way. So now my elephant has got both of its adorable little eyes. 
Now, my goal here is for you to be able to make one way more awesome than me. I'm just trying to give you ideas. You can see here, I just took a sphere and I'm gonna squish it. I'm gonna grab that middle black handle and there is my elephant ear. I'm gonna put that up here on one side. Same thing with the control up to raise it up. You can just hold it, then nudge it in place. Get it rotated exactly like you want. It's all up to you. You could do control D. And then if you want to be real fancy, I'm going to pull that one out. I'm going to hold down shift and shrink it a little bit. And if I make that piece pink, it can be like the inside of the elephant ear. I'm going to do control up to raise it up a couple clips, clicks. And then I'm going to group those and once again turn on multicolor so that stays. Then I'm going to do control D and move it to the other side. And once it gets there, don't forget that magic flip tool to pop. Have it look just the way you want. Looks like I got to nudge it a couple more over. Somehow I don't like that rotation, so I'm going to rotate it just a little more. You can even rotate it in this direction so that it was sticking out forward. Whatever kind of custom adjustments you want to make for your cool little elephant. All right, I'm really happy with where this all is, so I am going to group it so it all stays together. Remember, if it turns to one color, then we simply do the uh, multicolor to get it back. Let's give them a cool little mouth, and let's do that with the round roof. Uh, once again, I'm going to flip it so it's more like the mouth. And if you stay close to the center, remember, you can snap to those 22 and a half degree lines. I'm going to make it a hole, and I'm going to hold down shift and squish it till it looks the size of the elephant's mouth that I want. I like that, so now I'm going to grab the two pieces, and I'm going to make sure that I've got it centered. And then from that front corner, I can just hit and click on it. And now my arrows match up the way I would expect them to. You can tell by the shadow I'm underneath, and if I do control up, it pokes into his head where I want it to be. I don't want to cut my... Um, trunk so I'm going to shrink it a little and I don't want them to have a huge mouth so I'm going to lower it just a little bit and then do a couple more control up arrows and watch this when we group it all together check out how snazzy our elephant mouth is you could get all crazy and add cool things like an elephant tongue anything you want teeth but once again those are the cool things I want you to add as you make your elephant more incredible than mine Alrighty, friends, let's add a cool uh, tail. Let's do it with a special shape down here in the featured. Let's bring out a spring and let's set it to one rotation and leave the rest. But we're going to trim off a bit of it. I'm going to squish it to make it skinny. And then I'm going to bring out a basic shape called the box. And then I'm going to just use the box to cut off this side of the shape. When I group those two together, you can see that that is a pretty nifty tail. And then I'm going to stand it up. And notice I'm staying close to the shape so that it does those 90 degrees. And then I'm going to rotate it so that this piece is sticking inside the elephant. And let's use the arrow keys to line it up. Use control arrow to lift it up. And look at that. You have got a nifty elephant tail with almost no effort. You can stretch it and make it as custom as you want. Lots of fun things you can do to make it do exactly what you think is cool. Have fun and explore as you make that more and more awesome. Let's add some legs and feet by quickly bringing in a cylinder, once again holding down shift, shrinking it to whatever size you think it should be. I'm going to add a bevel of almost two uh, so that it's kind of rounded. Lift it up so that it's going to fit into the body. Line it up to make sure it does what you expect. I like mine just like that. Do your gray color. And then I'm going to do control D and push the other one forward. And then before I go any further, I'm going to decorate these feet a little bit. Raise those all the way up into the body. So I'm going to decorate them by adding cool foot pads. And I'm going to do that with the half sphere. Bringing it down. I'm going to hold down shift and squish it and squish it so that it just does what I want for my elephant's foot. Once again, do the grays. Seems like it needs to be just a little bit smaller. 
And when I'm happy with that little foot pad, I'm going to do control D, move its partner back there. And then I also want to add cute little toes. So I'm going to bring out the paraboloid, hold down shift and squish the bejesus out of it and make it nice and white. Or maybe even pink, who knows. I'm going to hold down shift and shrink it just a little bit more and push it into place. I'm going to zoom right to the shape. That's better. So now I can see that my toe looks like I expect it to. Control D, move another one over. If you don't like your grid, remember you can make it smaller so it does exactly what you want. And Control D again, just nudge that exactly where I want. And then I'm going to hold down all three of those with a shift click. Do Control D and move them back to the other foot. When I'm happy with where those are placed, and I'm going to rotate them a little just so there's a little bit of variety. I like those elephant legs, so I'm going to grab that entire set of parts. Notice there's 10 of them, 2, 4, plus 6. I'm going to group the legs, and I'm going to do Control D, and I'm going to move them to the other side. Don't forget, if you lose your multicolor, just simply click on the shape and bring your multicolor back. Friends, there you have it, one nifty little pachyderm. There is a lot of room for you to play and make this way more cool than me, but at least it gives you an idea for how to create an elephant. Friends, if you found the video useful, please hit that like button. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, especially one like this where somebody said, hey, can you make an elephant? Please add it in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.